Well, Catherine, I'd really like to thank you for taking uh, this interview coast to coast to give uh, an idea to uh, your colleagues across Canada what uh, dermatology practices like in Prince Edward Island, especially your solo. And that must be quite a challenge to cover hospitalized patients as well as uh, outpatients and uh, be alone. It's not like you can call somebody quickly. So tell me how you came into dermatology in the first place and where you did your training. Yeah, so I did my training in Laval uh, University, uh, graduated in 2014. Um, I did do a rotation at St. Justin a while ago, but I know you guys see a lot of students, so you probably don't remember me, but um, I did spend a few months there and really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and I think what led me to Derm is... Um, I had some acne issues as a teenager growing up, like a lot of kids. And uh, um, one day I had uh, the opportunity to meet a great dermatologist, um, Dr. Clavo. Um, oh, yeah, so I had Clavo. Yeah, so um, anyways, he treated me and uh, it really made such a big impact in my life as a teenager. And I always remembered him and I always remembered the impact he had, you know, he saw me for probably five minutes and he probably would never remember but wow. the impact, but the impact that that had on you know my life as a teenager at the time was just was just so significant I I thought that's what I want to do yeah that's amazing that's an amazing story and so you're originally from Quebec yeah I'm from Quebec City oh wow and whatever led you to go to Prince Edward Island um, well, it was just a bit of a coincidence, really. I was, um, I was finishing my residency and, um, I was pregnant at the time and I was getting married and, um, I was, uh, just kind of looking for, a, a different lifestyle. I just, uh, I was kind of getting tired of the, the traffic in and out yes. and, you know, I was wow. about to have a baby and wanting to just, you know, be able to make that time count and, you know, spend time with the family, um, so yeah, we just went on a camping trip actually just in the summer and we did, we just, we took our little car and we just uh, drove up to here and, uh, on the way it was, it was pretty long drive. It was 10 hours. So we were just Googling, you know, is there a derm here on, on PEI? And, um, actually they were recruiting at the time. So they're, they were having a bit of an issue there. There had been a derm working here for a number of years but um fortunately he passed away and so for about five or six years there was no derm service here on wow. PI. so they were actively recruiting so i just i just sent an email and they were super interested and and welcoming and they had me come for you know site visits and um it kind of just everything kind of clicked in place and we decided why not you know try this different opportunity and so we just packed her things up. I, I finished my residency on a Friday and started working here on a Monday. And uh, <laughs> wow. incredible. Yeah. Wow. Well, good. Like, congratulations. You're adventuresome. And um, my heart is in Prince Edward Island because we used to spend our summers there. So my grandparents are buried in Charlottetown. And uh, uh, every time I go there, I, I, I love it. Uh, and people oh. are so welcoming, as you say. So yeah. in um, Prince Edward Island, do you have um, a difficulty with people not having family doctors or is that pretty good we, coverage? We do. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a big issue. So I think we have, well, we have a population of, um, I think, close to 200,000 now. And we have 25,000 people on the, the registry waiting for a family doctor. Um, and uh, it was just in the news this week, there's three family doctors um, leaving their practice. So and, you know, every, every year, there's, you know, people leaving. And uh, so that puts more patients on the registry. So the more, more, more people leaving than people coming, unfortunately. Uh, so it's, it's a real challenge. And it, it, it makes it really difficult when you provide specialty care, and you don't yes. have, um, you know, a, a team that you can work with. So it, it makes yes. it more challenging for sure. So, so if a patient uh, had like a skin cancer or wanted to come and see you that didn't have a family doctor, would they have to go to the emergency room to be seen first? Yeah, we actually get a lot of referrals from the emergency room for, you know, things as benign sometimes as acne or, you know, um, 
localized rashes, but people just don't have a family doctor. They're just fed up and they don't know what to do next. So, you know, they go to emerge and they wait for, you know, 12 hours and they get, they get referred. So, and then they're on the wait list for, you know, 18 months <laughs> and wow. then, yeah. And then, you know, I'm able to, to see them, but it's, um, it's a big problem. Yeah. And so your wait list is 18 months. Are you able to incorporate some emergency visits into that? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, 18 months would be for the elective cases, but, um, you know, anything urgent, anything suspicious for melanoma or, you know, s- severe rashes, we'll, we'll see them obviously sooner within, you know, it depends. It could be a few days, a few weeks, or, you know, a couple months, depending on the situation. But um, we do triage and try to make room for those, uh, those emergencies. Right. Uh, that's something. And so it, within your practice, do you do a little bit of everything or do you have a special interest? So I, yeah, I do have everything because I'm, I'm on my own. <laughs> I uh-huh. kind of have to do everything. So, which, which is a challenge, but also an opportunity and, um, uh, well put. such a variety of, of patients and cases, you know, from the inpatient consults to, you know, the complex medical, um, germ cases to, you know, routine stuff and, uh, you know, elderly patients down to babies and pediatrics and, you know, uh, everything. So I do everything. I do just a little bit of cosmetics. It's a very small portion of my, my practice. Um, I'm quite busy with medical dermatology, but, um, yeah, so it's, I, I really see everything here. Right. And when you have a difficult case, who can you share it with? Well, actually, we have a really great derm community in the Atlantic provinces, um, mm-hmm. and COVID has been wonderful for me, like wonderful because everything has has transitioned to online. So yes. I used to have to drive to go to meetings and, you know, um, see my colleagues and be able to, you know, chat and things like that. But with COVID now, everything's online. And so there's meetings every week and it, it's so great. So I get to talk with my colleagues. Um, and so if we have difficult cases or, or, or I can present them or, you know, we can just chat informally about them too. So um, s- since COVID, I, I have actually found that to be, uh, to, to be a, a positive change in, in my, my practice. Yes, I agree. There's some positive things coming out of COVID, uh, including I, I do like the Zoom interviews. You don't have to travel as much. And um, also, uh, yeah, it, um, and now we have to do some teledermatology, which for me, I don't really enjoy doing, but I, but, um, I think for follow-up, it, it could be very good. And so, especially in our winter months, instead of making people drive in hazardous conditions, we could do some of that follow-up uh, virtually. Okay. Um, so that would be good. And during your residency, did you find the CDA a helpful organism for you? Uh, I did. I have lots of good memories going to meetings as a resident and uh, um, be able, be, being able to connect with um, other residents too from, you know, other provinces and, um, and you know, meeting you know, our Canadian derms. And uh, I've always, you know, found that to be a great resource and always enjoyed uh, the meetings as a, as a resident. Yeah. Well, we'd love to have you back. If you can uh, join us someday, that'd be great. And, uh, you know, I think the strength is, uh, and I'm really glad you're connecting with your Atlantic colleagues because um, you guys are all uh, such warm, wonderful, uh, experienced, dermatologists and people, warm people, that uh, I think uh, you can share a lot with them. And uh, well, we're really happy that you've taken the time to uh, speak with us today. And is there anything that we could help you with? Um, well, I mean, keep doing what you're doing. And, uh, you know, uh, I think CDA is a great organization. Um, the meetings are such a great opportunity. And I'm, I'm happy that we're getting back to in person too, because Zoom is great, but it's also really nice to be able to connect with people um, in person and on on a personal level. So, so much more happens at the meetings than just, you know, medical education, you get to connect, um, make 
make connections with, with people. And so I think that's an important part of the CDA. And yes, yeah. Well, I'm wishing you all the best. Uh, have a wonderful summer. And it's great to meet you, Catherine. And I'll look you up the next time in, I'm in PEI. Okay. For sure. Oh, and perfect. We'll, we'll see you great. at one of the meetings, I'm sure, very soon. Perfect. Well, that's great. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. McQueen. Thank you. Thanks.